Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Oh my God. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, family. Welcome to Faith Talk and Miracle Moments. There is a miracle with your name on it. This is yours truly, Bishop O. Olafe. I have a word from God for you today. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wherever you are, I welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you to your miracle moment. I welcome you to your time of encounter. Um, God has a miracle with your name on it. This is Faith Talk and Miracle Moments. Don't watch alone. I want you to like. I want you to love. I want you to share this broadcast and bring many more people on. Yes. Let me know where you're watching from. When I see you, I'm going to recognize you. I'm going to love on you in a moment. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Don't watch alone. Let's, let's love, let's share, let's bring more people on. Praise God. Yes, leave your comment so I can see you. I can know where you're watching from then. I'll be able to uh, love on you and... Um, Yes, there is a miracle for you today, wherever you are. Thank you for joining me. If you leave your comments, I will be able to see you and to recognize you and to love on you. I can't see you until you leave your comment. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm live on my Facebook page. I'm live on uh, fmtvlive.com. I'm live on HOD Radio. I'm also live on YouTube. Yes, I'm live on YouTube. I'm also live on Twitter. So if you are watching me anywhere, let me know where you're watching from. I'm going to love on you in a minute. But don't watch alone. Like, share, subscribe. I have a word from God. I have a mandate to speak God's word to you today. There's going to be a miracle in your life. A blessing is going to come into your life. God is going to touch your situation. If you need healing in your body, God will heal your body today. If you need a deliverance in your life, then this is your hour. If you need a breakthrough, then God has you covered. Whatever it is that you desire, don't let your heart be troubled. The word of God says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will grant you the desires of your heart. So desires are going to be granted. Miracles are going to happen. Doors are going to be opened. Favor is going to be unleashed. There's going to be all kinds of breakthroughs. Whatever you want from God, there is nothing too hard for God to do. There is nothing God cannot make happen. So welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't watch alone. I want you to like. I want you to share this broadcast, I'm doing the same here. Share it on your timeline. Share it on your profile page. Bring more people on. Why do I want you to share it? So that somebody can be blessed because of you. So that somebody can receive a miracle because of you. So that somebody, somebody's life can change because of you. It's a seed. When you share it, your friend will see it. Your colleague will see it. Your neighbor will see it. Somebody close to you that needs a miracle from God will see it. And God will work miracles in their lives. And they'll be, they will thank you for it. So don't watch alone. Don't watch alone. I want you to like, love, and share. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to get to the word in a minute. But let's get to sharing. Let's get to sharing. I'm sharing here on my uh, page, on my profile page. This is Faith Talk and Miracle Moments with Bishop O. Olafe. So don't watch alone. Love, like, share, subscribe. If you are watching on YouTube, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook, I want you to follow me on Facebook. Uh, if you are watching on Twitter, I'm also live on Twitter. Let me get done with all this so we can get into the world and begin to receive everything that God has packaged for us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, mighty God. We serve a miracle-walking God, the God that is thinking of you. The Bible says God is mindful of you. 
He wants to help you. He wants to bless you. He wants to do marvelous things in your life. So don't watch alone. I want you to like. I want you to share. Glory be to God. All right, I'm done sharing right now. I'm going to locate you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to find you to see where you are. When I see you, I'm going to love on you. Praise God. Let me see who is on. Okay, beautiful. My wife is on. My singular heart drop. God bless you, woman of God. Thank you for joining. Yes. Hello, love. Yes. When you leave a comment, I'm going to see you. I'm going to recognize you. I'm going to love on you, but I can't see you until you leave a comment. So leave your comment. Let me know where you're watching from. This is Faith Talk and Miracle Moment. This is your hour for a miracle. If you need a miracle in your life, whether it's in your health, in your on your career, in your relationship, on your job, whatever area of your life you need a miracle, I am God's messenger carrying your miracle word. One word from God will provoke the blessing that you desire. So fasten your seatbelt and get ready for an unforgettable encounter with God's word. Yes, I'm live on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is uh, Faith and Miracles TV channel. I want you to subscribe if you're watching me on YouTube, even if you're watching on Facebook, wherever you are. I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like my Facebook page so that anytime I come on, when God puts a word, every time God puts his word in my mouth for you, I'm going to speak the word of God to you and your life is going to be transformed. I'm also live on Twitter. If you're watching on Twitter, I want you to follow me on Twitter. I'm live on Twitter. And uh, if you're watching on FM TV Live, we have, uh, in case you are not aware, we have a Faith and Miracles TV uh, network. It's called FM TV Live. 24 hours, seven days a week, you can, your faith can be turbocharged. Faith on the go. Just go to fmtvlive.com and you're going to get uh, inspired, motivated, you know, if possible, challenged, encouraged, and you're going to receive your miracles. Share the good news with your friends and loved ones, fmtvlive.com. All right, I'm going to get into the word of God right now and begin to speak, thus hear the Lord to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. I give you praise for this miracle moment. As I begin to um, speak your word right now, I pray that, Lord, you will give this person a miracle. I pray for a mighty visitation in the life of this person watching right now. Lord, In the, whatever the need might be, let this hour be the hour that those needs will be supplied, that those desires will be granted in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father. And I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. I think I see uh, my princess there are also on. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Welcome, family. Good to see you. Yes, I can see you until you leave a comment. And I want to see your comment. I want you to leave your comment so I can love on you. Praise God. Well, what do we want to talk about today? I want to talk to you from God's word because I'm a man of God. I speak God's word. He that God sent, speak God's word. I want to talk to you from God's word. I want to talk to you about, you know, uh, the little, little things or the little things in quote. They, they are not little, but to a whole lot of people, they might see them as something small. The little things that are the groundwork for the bigger things you want from God. The little things that are the groundwork for the bigger things you want from God. I know you want big things from God. And God does big things. God does mind-blowing things. Wonders without number. God is a God of big things. But amazingly, God uses the little things as the groundwork for the bigger things that he wants to do in our lives. If, whenever God wants to do something big, he does the big stuff. But he tells us to do the little things. 
So if we can do the little things, we can get the big things we want from God. Oh, yes. You know, for instance, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt on their way to the promised land, they had an obstacle, a barrier before them called the Red Sea. They needed to pass through the Red Sea to get to going on the promised land, to continue their journey to the promised land. You will have assumed that God will tell them to do the big things. No, but God told their leader, Moses, he said, if you can do the little thing, I will do the big stuff. What was the little thing that God told him to do? God told him, lift up your rod. Lift up your rod and speak to the sea and the sea would divide. That was the little thing that God told Moses to do. And the Bible says, when Moses lifted up his rod and spoke to the children of Israel to move forward, the Red Sea opened up. So what did we see there? God did the big stuff. They couldn't divide the Red Sea. They couldn't part the Red Sea. But God parted the Red Sea but they walked on dry ground. So that's why I want to speak to you about some things. The Bible says, if these things are in you, they will make you productive. They will make you fruitful. They will make you successful if these things are in you. And that's what I want to talk about. And if you have been following my uh, following me on this broadcast. This is part four because I've been talking about this for a while. And I think, you know, it's not a coincidence. It's because God wants you and I to receive his best. God wants us to experience the best of God in our lives. So look at this. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 8, I'm preaching from the Bible. The Bible is God's book for our successful living. Yeah, the Bible is God's manual, is God's blueprint for our successful life. All the secrets of success. If you want to succeed in any area of your life, whether it is maritally, spiritually, emotionally, financially, in any area of your life, if you desire success, I will encourage you to form the habit of reading the Bible. And if you are suffering you know, challenges or crisis in any area of your life, it is because there is something you don't know yet that you need to find out because there are answers, real, real answers, real answers to real life questions or challenges in the Bible. Oh, yes. There are real answers to real life questions, answers or solutions to life issues in the Bible. You know, there is nothing you want to be, have, do, that when you begin to consult with the secret of God that is in the word, in the Bible, that you will not find solution to. So I want to prophesy in the name of Jesus over your life that your difficult days are numbered. Your days of tribulation, your days of toiling without result, they are numbered in the name of Jesus Christ. Because once you find the blueprint, once you get into the word of God, you're going to find answer. Like I'm sharing with you today, I believe that this is going to be a transformation hour for you in your life. A new day is going to dawn for you. New doors are going to open in your life. Miracles are going to begin to take place. You're going to begin to find solution to long-term problems and situations of your life. You will never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. So don't watch alone. I want you to love. This is Faith Talk. Oh, let me see this. This is Faith Talk and Miracle Moments with Bishop O. Olafe. Let me get that to you right now. You are watching Faith Talk and Miracle Moments, and God has miracles with your name on them. So thank you for watching, and I want you to take time out to share this broadcast. If you have not done that yet, 
Share it so that somebody else can be blessed because of you. I'm speaking to you from 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse number 8. The Bible says, if these things be in you and abound, if these things that I want to talk to you about, if they are in you and abound, they will make you that you will neither be barren nor unfruitful in your life. These things will make you productive, make you resourceful, make you successful. You will not know lack or want or insufficiency if these things are in you. And I've been speaking to you about these things that God wants us to have. You see, success begins from the inside out. Success begins from the inside out. It is what is in you that will make you. There is nothing without you that can defile you. I think, in fact, Jesus said there, he said, there is nothing that cometh from without that can defile a person or that can limit a person. He said, but what defiles, what makes you is actually what is happening on the inside of you, in your heart and in your mind, in your spirit, what is happening in you. And when good things begin to happen in you, it will happen around you. It's just a matter of time. So you, if you want to change your life, learn to change what is happening inside you. You know, a whole lot of people, you know, uh, get it wrong. Most people think that success is from without. No, 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 no. Success is from within. It flows out. Even if you are successful without and you don't have the success formed within, if a person, not let me say you, <laughs> if a person is successful without and has not formed this success within him or her, that person will also still be failing. Hello. But if a person is succeeding within, it will happen around the person. That's why you find out that people who have won lottery, won millions of dollars in lottery, they, and, and people also who have um, received inheritance, lot of inheritance, you know, maybe somebody will a lot of money to them. They end up losing it all. Why? Because they didn't have what it takes on the inside of them to sustain the success. So it doesn't matter what a person has or is given. Yes, if you don't have what it takes, just like, oh my God, I feel something now. Just like we came into this world packaged by God to succeed. Every one of God has been given, every one of us has been given, you know, what we need to succeed, you know, in life. God has packaged us with it, but many people don't tap into the resources within. They want their validation from without. And once people are looking for validation from without, they miss the arrangement of God. So that's why there are some things that need to be in us. And I spoke about these things extensively. And the, 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 the things here are 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 8. It talks about diligence, it talks about faith, it talks about virtue, about knowledge, about temperance, about patience, uh, godliness, you know, brotherly kindness. But I'm on the last point here, which is love. Love, love, please pay attention to what I'll be saying to you by the Spirit of God. Love is one of the three forces of success in life. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse number 13, it says, there are three forces of success, faith, hope, and love. But the Bible says, the greatest of them is love. So love makes great. Love is the key to greatness. And I'm talking to you about love because if a person has faith 
and can move mountains. I love what this scripture, I love the scripture, so powerful. It says, if, if I have faith and I can move mountains and I've not learned to love, I am nothing. So this love, what, what love is the greatest. Love is the secret for greatness. And amazingly, the Bible says we can learn to love. I'm not talking about the emotions. Love, you know, there are different words for love. There's the feel you, the feelings of love. You know, there's the agape. That's what I'm talking about. You know, there's the agape. That's the God kind of love. But I'm talking about power and the force of love when it comes to success in life. If you want to succeed in life, you need this force of love at work in your life. And amazingly, we can learn to love. We can learn it. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 13, and this is why I'm excited. Because if we have this thing in us, we're going to become victorious. We're going to become successful. Whether it's financial success, uh, social success, physical, material success you want in your life. Whether it is victory in your life. I'm, I'm sharing with you something that you need. Everybody needs it in order to become an outstanding success. And the lack of it is what has made people to fail. You cannot believe it that people will be failing in life because the elements of love are not in them or they are breaking, you know, uh, going against the elements of love that makes for success. So I want to share with you by the Spirit of God, and miracles are going to begin to take place in your life. God works miracles. Watch this. It says, you know, if you can speak with the tongues, all the eloquence in this earthly many languages, you know, many languages in the world, and you have all the eloquence of these languages. In fact, even if you have, if a person has... Uh, heavenly tongues of angels and yet does not know how to express himself or herself in love it says it will be the person will be more nothing more than a sound of clanging symbols if a person has eloquence you know when people say oh you need some eloquence and you can speak many languages but if you don't, if a person cannot express himself in love, it's nothing more than a clanging symbol, just noise. But in the name of Jesus, you will not just make noise in your life. You will make news. When you have love in you, you will not only make noise, you'll be making news. You'll be creating waves when the element of this powerful force of love begins to take root. And I'm praying in the name of Jesus, that it will take root in you, you will begin to experience and walk in love. Look at what the Bible says here again, 1 Corinthians 13, 2. It says, if I were to have the gift of prophecy with profound understanding of God's hidden secrets, if I possessed unending supernatural knowledge and I have the greatest gift of faith, which we celebrate all these things as spiritual gifts, prophecy. People love prophecy. If I begin to prophesy to you right now, I might get your attention. But even if you receive, if a person gets prophecy, which God, there is nothing wrong with it. We need it. But love surpasses all these things. Amazingly, I'm amused. I'm amazed that love is greater than prophecy. Love is greater than knowledge, uh, word of knowledge. Love surpasses great faith. <laughs> love surpasses greatness of faith. He said, if I have the, the word of prophecy, the gift of prophecy, I have profound understanding of the hidden secret. I possess unending supernatural knowledge, word of knowledge. If I have the greatest gift of faith that could move mountain, but I have not learned to love, I am nothing. So, a person without this love factor is equal to zero. 
<laughs> because all those things will come crashing. They have their ending. But love never ends. No wonder God never called himself or, you know, equate himself to any of this. I know faith pleases God. I know God is the one that gives knowledge. I know that God is a supernatural and he operates supernatural means of, you know, working things. But God never equated himself to any of these things. The only thing that God said he is, is love. The Bible says God is love. Whosoever loveth abides in God and God abides in such a person. So God equates himself to love. And of course, you know, once you are filled with God, you're going to be filled with all the fullness. When you are filled with love, I beg your pardon, you're going to be filled with all the fullness of God. And when you are filled with all the fullness of God, you are unstoppable. And that will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. You'll be unstoppable. You'll begin to succeed. But we can learn love. And I began to share with us, this is part number four of this wonderful teaching that I've been teaching. This is part four. I'm trying, I'm speaking to you on what love entails. What are the elements of love and how can they benefit my life? That's what I want to share with you. So I will, I will just go down for time because I'm trying to go as far as possible. In 1 Corinthians 13 and verse number, I think I'm in verse number 6 now. This is one of the elements of love that will make for success. It says, love joyfully celebrates honesty. Love joyfully celebrate truth. Look at this. Let's unpack it. Love is joyful celebration. When a person is filled with love, a person will be full with joyful celebration. Every day of your life, you, a person needs to be joyful in order to be successful. Without being joyful, a person cannot be ultimately successful. Because it is joy, with joy, that a person draws water out of the wells of salvation, out of the wells of success. You require joy. And it says, love joyfully celebrates. Celebrates what? Honesty, which is the truth. What is the truth? The word of God. The word of God. One of the elements of love is ability to joyfully celebrate the truth of God's word, to celebrate the promises of God concerning your life, to celebrate truth. Anywhere you see truth, when love is at work, love joyfully celebrates truth. That's very powerful. In the name of Jesus Christ, celebration will not cease in your life. Celebration will not cease from your heart, you will always have reason to celebrate the truth. Yes, love celebrates the truth. Watch this. And find no delight in what is wrong. <laughs> love finds no delight in what is wrong. You know, some people only, you know, delight in finding the wrong. In other people, you know, finding the weaknesses, the deficiency of other people, you know, and by so doing, they try to pull other people down by ridiculing them. And they don't realize that when they pull others down, they are going down. Anytime you're pulling a person, anytime a person is pulling another person down, it goes down. But when you delight in lifting people, which love does, love elevates people, love lifts people. That's why God is love. God lifts humans. God lifts mankind. In fact, God wants to lift us to his statue. Yes, the Bible said God has, you know, uh, 
lifted us up and made us to sit with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. God, who is rich in love. I love that scripture. Uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 2. Let me just, this is a side, look at this here. Very, very powerful. It says, but God, who is rich in mercy, Ephesians 2, 4, wherein for his great love, where he loved us, has raised us up. Love is always lifting people. Yes. So when you learn to love, you will be, a, when a person love, learns to love, and you and I, when we learn to love, we want to lift other people, want to lift people up. And the more you lift people up or lift people high in life, the higher you go. That's a secret. That's a mystery. So love will equip a person to want to lift other people high. Yes, love takes no delight in wrong. It's not looking for what is wrong, but it's always looking for what is right. So when you meet people, don't when you meet a person or when you see people, because of love, you will not be looking at what is wrong with them, but what is right with them. And once you do that, you are walking in love and also you will be lifted. N number seven, I want to go as far as, I'm, as I can by the grace of God. Glory be to God. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know how this word is blessing you. It says love is a safe place or shelter. Oh my God. Love is a safe place. Love is a safe place or shelter. Love does not focus on what is wrong, but bears with the shortcoming of others. Love is like a roof that protects and shields others. You could say that love, that love springs no leak. <laughs> love is a shelter. Love covers people. Love springs no leak. It's like a roof that would that is not leaking. It protects other people. And that's a secret for success. It's a safe place that offers shelter. It does not expose. Oh my God. <laughs> Love does not expose. Love is not looking for a way to expose the shortfalling of others or the shortcomings of others. Love provides a shelter, a covering over people. And that's why love is a very powerful element, element because love is a seed. And what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Oh, yes. When a person begins to protect, cover other people, you're going to have covering in the time of your storms. You're going to be covered. You're going to be covered from the heat of life. You also going to, you're going to enjoy the covering that God gives. Yes. I love, I'm still reading on. Look at the next thing here. I'm talking to you about the force of love. Love never stops believing the best for others. I'm seeing something here. Love is always projecting the interest of others. Love never stops to believe the best of others. I'm, 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 I'm feeling a revelation, you know, surging in my spirit. As, we've talk, as we're talking about love, we, one of the things I think I said and we saw the last time in one of the teachings is that love does not seek its own. When you begin to understand love, you're going to begin to move away from yourself to others. You're going to begin to think of others. Love is always focused on others. That's very powerful. And that's what, who God is. That's the nature of God. That's why God loves people. God loves people. God will do anything for you to succeed. God will do anything for you to have a great life, a glorious life. And it's because of his love nature. And that's the nature also of success that you and I can learn. Love 
never stops believing the best for others. Oh, yes. You have to learn to begin to believe the best for others. You want others to do well. You want others to succeed. You want others to, 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 to thrive in life. Yes, you want, you are, you are interested. A person who is filled with love is a person that is interested in others. If I tell you the challenge I have to face today with the updates on equipment before coming to preach to you today to bring this work to you, if not for love, I don't see any reason for me to come to do it. But it took me time, even today, and I'm seeing this now, and I'm just saying, oh, Father, thank you. Thank you. And I'm praying that this element of love will form the fabric of your life because that is your secret for success. Whenever you have the opportunity, the Bible says, as we have opportunity, let us do good unto all men. Do the best you can. Seek the best of others. Oh, yes. You know, you can help people in many ways. <laughs> you see, a whole lot of people think that there is only when it's only when you render financial um, favor that you are helping people. No, 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 no. When you can help a person, even just to have, you know, um, have hearing ears, to be able to hear the burdens of others, when you can pay attention, when you can just pause and, you know, you know, uh, you know, give attention to others, you are helping them. You are helping them. Oh, yes. Love, let me continue. Oh, my God. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this love fire here. And I hope the fire is burning right where you are and you are receiving something. Because listen to this. This, it has to be the, your, your makeup, a person's makeup, how, what's going on the, on the inside of you. Are you don't, don't have hate. The opposite of love is hate. Don't, don't hate on others. Don't hate on people. Love people. Care for people. It doesn't matter whether they respond to your love or not. That's what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about you sowing a seed. And when you are sowing a seed, you are sowing the seed by faith. Which you might, they might not even be in the position to repay you or to give you the harvest. Don't forget, God is your source. And when you love, that's why the Bible says, what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. So our responsibility is learn to love. And that's the secret for success. You know, let me go ahead. Another, another word, another um, element of love here is that love never takes failure as defeat. For it never gives up. I love that. Love never takes failure as defeat. Because love never fails. Love never fails. No matter what, you know, no matter how many times, you know, failure shows up before a person who is operating this power of love, the person will always come out triumph because love never fails. Love never fails. Love never takes failure as defeat, for it never gives up. Love never takes failure as defeat, for it never gives up. Yes, I think it's um I think it's either Abraham Lincoln that says uh success is defined as ability to fail many times without losing your enthusiasm. <laughs> success is experiencing failure many times without losing your enthusiasm. And I can say to you that enthusiasm is your love. Success is experiencing failure many times without stopping to love. When love is in place, 
It doesn't matter how many times failure shows up on your door, you're going to come out victorious. That's a very powerful definition. You want to write it down. Success is ability to go through failure many times without losing your enthusiasm. And I'm saying that that enthusiasm there is the love element. Once, because love never fails. As long as you stay in love, you don't become bitter or hateful, you're going to succeed. Oh, yes, you're going to succeed. You're going to succeed. That's very true. You're going to come out victorious. You're going to come out at the top. And you're going to be, and I see you getting to the top. Because love never gives up. Love never gives up. You know, how many people have said they are in love? Oh, especially in relationship. I love you. I love you. I love you. You are the you are the only sugar in my tea. You are the, you know, you are the nest that covers me. Love, they, they say it. But when situation comes, they give up on the relationship. They quit on the person they have claimed to love. That means. They never really understood what love is because love never gives up on, you never gives up on yourself. You never give up on others because you believe the best of others. You can see, especially in relationship. I wish I could just narrow on relationship on this. But yeah, because you have to believe the best in your spouse. Everybody have their, you know, their worst days, their low moments. But you, when you are walking in love, you don't, uh, you don't conclude on a person based on their low moments. Thank God for God. No wonder God is love. He said, if God should mark iniquity, who we stand? If God has dealt with us according to the works of our hands, we will not be surviving. But God does not deal with us based on our low moment because God believed the best of us. God, love never gives up. That's why God has never given up on you. He has never given up on me in spite of all our failings and our shortcomings. And that's the same spirit we need. Whatever it is you are doing, whether it's your career, whether it's your business, the same thing. That's why we know, it's always said, love what you do. Love what you do. Love your dreams. Love your goals. You know, many people don't love their dreams. That's why success eludes them. When you love your dreams, you're going, you won't give up on your dreams. When you love your goals, you're not going to, you know, you see, it's, 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 it's explosive. It's exploding. You know, it's like a fountain bursting forth into many areas of our lives. And I'm praying that something will catch on in you that will explode. Because I'm talking to you about, it's a love never gives up. If you love your dreams, you know, you love your business, you love your goals, you won't give up on it. Many people don't love their dreams. That's why it is encouraged. When they normally say, love what you do. Love what you do. Oh yeah, love what you do. And do what you love. <laughs> Love what you do. Do what you love. It will keep taking you higher. Oh, yes. When you, for instance, let me make this illustration. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. You see, if you love your job, you love your job or your career, if you love it, when you are doing the job, because of the love element, no matter how many people tries to frustrate you, on that job, in that career, you will keep thriving. You will keep make, finding a headway. You keep succeeding because you love your job. They won't be able to pull you down. And because of that, you keep getting higher. Even when they conspire against you to pull you down, you will keep succeeding. Very important. Love never gives up. <laughs> uh, I feel, maybe I should just, I feel something in my spirit. There is somebody watching me right now. You are about to give up. You are about to quit. I don't know what you want to quit on. You want to quit on life? You want to quit on yourself? You want to quit on your relationship? 
I'm praying that this element of love, the fire will be kindled in your heart. The fire will be kindled in your heart that you will not give up. Don't give up because there is success at the next bend, at the next turn. Things are going to turn. The tides are going to change. So don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your spouse. Don't give up on your goals. Don't give up on God. Don't give up on his promises in your life. Love never gives up. That's, you know, that's a secret to success. Yeah. Many people, you see, until you, until you quit, you have, you are not, you have not failed. Yeah. And if you, if you quit, nobody is quitting but you. But the element of love will make you and empower you to persevere through it. Because there's a breakthrough right ahead of you. There is a great breakthrough. The tides are about to turn in your favor. So don't quit on yourself. Don't quit on God. Don't quit on your job. Don't quit on your dreams. Don't quit. Don't give up. That's why you need love. When you have love in you, you're going to be on fire. You're going to be ablaze. You're going to see a reason to believe because love believed all things. Let me see the next thing here in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 8. It says, love never stops loving. <laughs> I love that. Love never stops loving. Love never stops. Love never stops loving. So love is always going. And that's the secret to, to victory, to success. You keep on keeping on. You keep on going in spite of. You keep on dreaming. You keep on believing. Oh, yes. You keep on praying. You keep on expecting. Love never stops loving. I can say love never stops living. <laughs> love never stops believing. Love never stops. Love never stops. I think there is a city, they say, a city that never, st that never stops, never sleeps. Where is that? Maybe it's Vegas. I don't know. Yeah. That's why people go there. They say, oh, they want somewhere where nothing stops. Love never stops. You will never stop being victorious. You will never stop being triumphant. Love never stops. I love the next thing here. Oh, receive the unstoppable grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I say receive it wherever you are. Receive this unstoppable grace. Nothing will stop you. Nothing will stop you. When you, you know, when you don't stop, nothing will stop you. Nothing can stop you if you will not stop. And the grace not to stop is to walk in love. Oh my God. Let me, let me, let me do something here. You know, when I get into this world, I get super excited about this truth of God. Listen to this. If you are watching me, you can always connect with me anywhere you are in the world. You can always connect with me. I'm giving you the information. You can text me. And I want to hear from you. I really want to hear from you. You can text me. You can inbox me. Um, you can email me. The information is there on your screen. You want, you know, you want a, a prophetic word from God for you. You want biblical guidance, you know. You want me to pray with you. Or you just want to say hi. Inbox me. Talk to me. I want to hear from you. Yes, I want to know what God is doing in your life. I want to know how this word is blessing you, you know. Don't just watch and keep quiet. Say something. Say hi, say hi Bishop. You know, it would be nice to hear from you. It would be nice to know what God is doing in your life, you know. If you need a miracle, you are very important. Yeah, so the information is on your screen. You can always reach out to me. And I also want to encourage you, you know, to get my books. I have powerful life-changing books on Amazon.com. You can get my books. You can go to our website, howfan.org. Lots of powerful books that can change your life. I'm just taking a breather. I'm going to continue the message in a minute. Get my books. Go forward. This is book for unstoppable progress. <laughs> I'm talking about you being unstoppable. This book will help you to make unstoppable progress. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Seven ideas that can revolutionize your life. Very powerful books. Ideas rule the world. Healing is the children's bread. This is for health uh, and healing. 
Yes, you can recover your health. You can stay healthy. Get this book. They will change your life. Prayers that work wonders for increase. Very powerful. Prayer manual. They are all available on Amazon.com, Offer.org. Prayers that open up the mind for creativity. Prayers that open up the mind for creativity. Life-changing books. I encourage you to get these books and to read them because you're going to find, you know, you're going to find something there. It, you're going to receive the truth of God's word. You know, the Bible, we, I talked about love celebrates the truth. You need to know the truth. The devil is a liar. But what is God's opinion concerning your health, concerning your success? Seven success secrets for the believer. Seven ways to solve problems. You got problems, there are ways to solve your problems. Seven ways to solve all kinds of problems right there. Seven things to do when disappointments happen. Disappointments happen in life, but there is always what to do to recover. Seven ways to make more money. All these seven, 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 uh, they're my nugget series. When the Lord began to speak to me, he said, people can't, people don't have time or they can't read. They are too distracted. He said, make it in nugget, bullet form. So it can take one, just one thought to think a day. Very powerful. Get them, they will change your life. They're available on Amazon.com. They're also available on our website. God will bless you as you do that. What else? I'm giving you this information. I don't know if you are aware. We have a 24 hours, seven days a week uh, uh, miracle network, fmtvlive.com. If you need faith, you need hope, you need inspiration, motivation, any time of the day. Just go to fmtvlive.com. It's our Faith and Miracles TV, you know, FMTV Live. You go there, there's always a now word going. You're going to get a word, you're going to be motivated, you're going to be inspired. And please spread the good news with your friends, with your families, your colleagues, your neighbors. Let them know there's a place where the river of God's blessing and goodness is flowing. There is a word in season, 24-7. Go there. Uh, you're going to be blessed 24 hours, seven days a week. Your life is not going to be the same again. FMTVLive.com. Glory be to God. And also, while I'm preaching this word to you, I will also want to encourage you to plant your financial seed. Yes. As you hear this word of God, I want to encourage you to give into uh, this ministry that God has given to me. Yes. The Bible says, when we minister to you spiritual things, we ought to reap your kind of things. Yes, I'm a man of God. This is what I live by. He said, he that preached the gospel should live by the gospel. He said, if we have ministered to you spiritual things, we ought to reap your kind of things. The Bible says, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth him in all good things. Yes. So I want to encourage you. And that's the secret for your own receiving. When you give to the work of God, God's going to multiply the seed you sow and harvest is going to come bountifully into your life. So I want to encourage you to consider sowing your financial seed anywhere you are in the world. You are hearing this word. I believe it's a blessing to you. And as the word is blessing to you, go to the website, plant your financial seed, sow into the good ground of this ministry, and you're going to receive bountiful harvest in your life. God will bless you when you give. You're going to receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So you can do that by going to the website, excuse me, hoffan.org. Click the give button. You can give by PayPal. You can give by Cash App. You can text to give. The information is all there for you and there will be a blessing to you. God bless you as you do that. Yes. Uh, and you can also connect with me. You know, you can, if you want to know more about us, just go to the website, hoffan.org. You know, go there. You're going to, Yes, go to the website, hoffman.org. You can know more about our ministry. You can also join us in any of our services. If you, you know, anywhere you are in the world, our services are global right now. You can join us. If you're in the USA, we have two powerful services in the, two powerful, two powerful locations, I beg your pardon, in the Atlanta metro area. If you go to the website, hoffman.org, you can join us. Or anywhere you are in the world, you can join us on Zoom. Just take note that our times at Eastern Standard Time, and God will bless you. All right, let me continue with this message. You can email me, you can inbox me. Lots of options you can connect with this grace of God, and it's going to be a blessing to you. Let me continue with our teaching. I'm talking to you today about the little things that makes the big difference. Let's go ahead. I'm in 1 Corinthians 13, verse 8. 
He said, love never stops. Look at this now. He said, it extends beyond the gift of prophecy, which eventually fades away. Did you see that? That's what I'm telling you. You see, I listen, please hear what I'm saying by the Spirit of God. The gift of prophecy is very necessary, is very powerful. I believe in it. I prophesy and I believe in prophecy. But it's saying that when you walk, be, when you walk in love, when the when this element of love is in you, it extends beyond the gift of prophecy, which eventually fades away. So the prophecy will fade away. The, even if you have a prophecy, once that prophecy has come to pass, the prophecy is done with. What next? You know, like you can prophesy, and I'm gonna and I'm prophesying that great things are going to happen in your life. And many people will say, oh, I just want a gift of prophecy. I want a prophecy over my life. That's necessary. It has its place. It's, 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 it's necessary. It's important. But love, what I'm sharing with you, extends beyond the gift of prophecy, which eventually will fade away. So that means love never fades away. So once you are working in this, once you allow, once a person receives this element of love, the glory of God will never fade away from your life. The goodness of God will never fade away from your life. The power of God will never fade away from your life because love ex is extending. It goes beyond. It goes beyond. The Bible says that we might know what is the breadth, the depth, the height, the width of the love of God, which passeth knowledge. Love is broad. It extends. Do you want the blessings in your life to be extended? Then learn this love. And once you are in love, you're going to see extension of God's goodness. And I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you begin to see the extension of goodness in your life. Look at it here. It says, love is more enduring than tongues, which will one day fall silent. <laughs> My God, love is more enduring. So love has enduring grace. Thank God for tongues. And like we all need it. Tongues, we don't despise it. The Bible says we should not despise speaking in tongues. I don't despise it. But it's saying love endures than tongues, which will one day fall silent. When, when, when tongues fall silent, when tongues fall silent, love will still be at work. I'm sharing with you the things that need to be in you to make you fruitful, make you productive. It's understanding this love. It says love remains after Words of knowledge are forgotten. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. My God. My God. My God. Love remains. You see, I'm talking to people. If you're if you have been, if you're a Christian, if you have been a Christian for some time, if you have been a Christian, these are the things that people, you know, when you know, when 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 people are talking about word of knowledge, talking about prophecy, talking about tongues, it makes a person really spiritual, and it is because they are the gift of the spirit. But what I'm saying to you right now is what makes them really work, what what endures beyond this. Is what love is. It says love remains long after the words of knowledge are forgotten. Once you you will not be forgotten in your life. I say you will not be forgotten. Once you begin to walk in love, you're going to endure. So there are some things that have terminal point, but not love. Let me go ahead. I want to finish. I want to try and get to somewhere today. I mean, I'm just feeling it. It says our present knowledge. Our prophecies are but partial. But when lost perfection arrives, the partial fade away. When I was a child, I spoke with childish, uh, with, about childish matters. For I saw things like a child and reasoned like a child. But when the day came, when I, when I matured, 
and I set aside my childish ways. For now, we see but a faint reflection of riddles and mysteries as though reflected in a mirror. But one day, we will see face to face. I want to say this now. Watch this. Verse 13. Until then, there are three things that remain. This is what I want to close with right now. I want to close with this. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, there are three things that remain. Faith, hope, and love. He said, yet love surpasses them all. Love surpasses them all. So above all else, let love be the beautiful prize for which you run. I'll take that again. There are three things that remain, that abide, that endures, faith, hope, and love. Those are the forces of success. But the Bible says, but love surpasses them all. So above all else, this is what, this is above all else. This revelation that I've been sharing with you is the revelation that will put you above all else. Let love be the beautiful prize for which you run. So let everything that you do be love motivated. Let everything that you do have its basis in love. Love for God, love for others, love for yourself, love for your goals, your dream. Let love be the driving force of your life. When love is driving your life, when love is a driving force of your life, you will have abiding victory, abiding success. You have unstoppable triumphs. You go from success to success. You will not, you will not be stopped. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the revelation of this love element will be in you to bring you to victory all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will learn it. And I've shown you all these things are things we can learn. You can learn to cover others. You can learn to believe the best in people. You can learn to lift people up. All these love elements are things you can learn. And the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17, it says, learn to do well. To do well in life, you got to learn some things. And let this thing be the reason for which you run. Let love be the reason for which you run. Let it be the motivating force, the guiding force. Let it be the unseen element on the inside of you, driving your life into greatness. I want to pray for you right now. I believe in the name of Jesus that miracles are going to begin to explode in your life. I'm going to pray for healing in your body. I'm going to pray for your emotional needs, your physical needs, your material needs. I'm going to pray right now for you. I want to pray for the salvation of your soul. Yes, let me start with that. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. You see love coming there that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So God doesn't want you to perish because of his love. He gave Jesus to die for you. So today I want to encourage you to open up your heart, to receive Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior. That means your sins are going to be forgiven. God is not judging your sin right now. God is forgiving you. God wants to forgive your sin. God wants you to become a member of his family. God wants to welcome you to his household. He wants to give you a new beginning in your life. But you got to confess your uh, confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Not even confess your sin. You have to confess Jesus. Once you receive Jesus in your heart, your sins are going to be washed away. Let me start by praying. I'm going to pray for miracles. I'm going to pray for healing and deliverance. But let me pray for you right now. If you are watching me and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or maybe you had a relationship with Jesus, but you drew back, you backslid it. God is saying, come back home. 
I want to pray for you. Say this prayer, and I want you to mean it in your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, today I ask you to come into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. Say, I believe you died for me. And I believe that God raised you up for my justification. So today, I accept you into my heart from this moment as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Heavenly Father, thank you for receiving me into your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. Yes, thank you. Say thank you, mighty God. If you are rededicating your life, say, Lord, I rededicate my life to you today. I recommit myself to you today. From today, I want to walk in your love. And I receive grace to do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, if you said that prayer at me, I want to congratulate you. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations, my brother, my sister. It means you just gave your heart to the Lord. Welcome to the family of God. Can I pray for you now? Father Lord, I pray for this person who has just made this decision to give his or heart to you. I pray that your grace that has saved this one, let that same grace keep and preserve this one in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you. I give you praise. Let this person's name be written in your book of life. And I thank you for grace to live for you, to be impacted into the life of this one in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, my friend. If you said that prayer, congratulations. God bless you. Let me know you gave your heart to the Lord. Let me know you said that prayer. I want, also want to send some materials to you that will be a blessing to you. If I hear from you, you can email me. You can inbox me on Facebook. You can email me. Or you can text the word love to 678-940-6080. Let me hear from you. Let me know you gave your heart to the Lord. I want to pray also for your miracles right now. I want to pray if you need healing in your body. You need deliverance in your life. I want to pray for you. Oh, yes, for whatever you are whatever you are believing God for. If you want a miracle, you want a healing, you want a deliverance, let me pray for you right now. Father, Lord, I pray for this person right now who needs a miracle in his or her life, whether it is emotional, physical, material, oh God, whatever the needs may be. I ask, oh God, right now that you open your hand and satisfy this person's desire. I pray, oh God, for favor in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that your favor will locate this one. Let there be, oh God, intervention in the issues confronting this person right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for somebody who is watching right now you have been depressed and you don't even know why. You have been down. You don't even know why. But the enemy is trying to lead you into hatred. But God is saying, you should open your heart right now and allow his love to fill your heart. Oh, yes. You have allowed offense. Offense has, is, yes, it's is a result of offense. You are offended by people. That's why. You are feeling as you are feeling right now. But God is saying, let love cover the multitude of the sin, of the offense, or the wrong that they've done to you. And you're going to see a change in your own life. Those doors that you won't open in the next 72 hours, you're going to see doors open in your life that you never experienced before. Doors of breakthrough. Yes, doors of breakthrough. Big things are going to happen in your life. If you can just forgive, if you can let go and let love, for love's sake, let it go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And God is even giving me more clarity concerning you. The offense is with your family member. I don't know who they are. I don't know, but it's with your family member. If God is speaking to you, please receive that word and act in faith. And you're going to see a change in your life. You can inbox me. Let me know if that word is tailored me for you. I'm also praying for breakthroughs right now on your job. I'm praying for breakthrough in your life, on your job, in your career. I pray in the name of Jesus that the help of God will speak for you. I speak healing. I pray for healing. I'm, I'm hearing God saying, pray for chest pain. Every pain in the chest. Put your hand on your chest if you have a chest pain. Because God is telling me to pray for chest pain. 
I rebuke the pain in your chest right now. I command the pain to go. I command that pain to cease in the name of Jesus. I speak restoration to your chest, the pain in the chest. I bind that pain. I come against that pain. I command it to go right now. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Thank you, Father. Yes, you are watching me. There's a pain in the chest, but even your right hand, you can't lift it. You can't lift your right hand. But God is saying, lift up your right hand. Lift both hands right now. Give God praise. Turn left and right. That pain goes right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing. Receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you. And I want to hear your testimony. Oh, yes. When God has touched you, when you feel a touch, I want you to let me know. You can either call me, email me, text me. Let me know God is healing you because I am persuaded that God is healing sicknesses right now. So receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Well, I give God praise for all these miracles. I would love to hear your testimony. I would love to know what God has done in your life. I want to, I want to hear from you. So email me, text me, and inbox me. Before I go, I also want to encourage you to plant your financial seed into the good ground of this of this ministry. You help me to continue to do what God has come me to do. The Bible says, if we have ministered to you spiritual things, we ought to reap your kind of things. It says, let him that is taught the word of God minister to him that teacheth in all good things. So give and it shall be given unto you. Go to our website, hoffan.org, plant your financial seed and watch God bless you. When you sow, God is going to multiply the seed you sow back to you. Anywhere you are in the world, we have you can give by paper, you can give by cash app, you can text to give. All the information is there. You have it on your screen and God will bless you. Also want to give you an invitation to come and worship God with us at any of our services. If you're in the USA, you're in the Atlanta metro area, go to our website, come and worship God with us and God will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget fmtvlive.com is our 24 hours, seven days a week, Faith and Miracles TV Network. Keep watching. And if you have not watched before, go there, fmtvlive.com. Anywhere you are in the world, you can always get a word from God. Well, I'm going to sign out right now. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them that are sanctified. May the Lord God, whose I am, whom we serve, may he bless you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God continue to lift up his good countenance upon you and give you peace. I look forward to seeing you on my next broadcast. Until then, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe. If you have not liked my Facebook page, like it. I want to hear from you. If you have not shared this broadcast, share it. Until then, I look forward to seeing you again next time. God bless you. Remember that Jesus loves you and so do I. Shalom. <laughs>